हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू सम न्यू 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 थिंग्स एवरी न्यू डिस्कवरी एंड परहेप्स आफ्टर नोइंग माय ट्रिक्स यू कैन डिस्कवर मच मोर थिंग्स ऑन नंबर सिस्टम सो एंड दिस विल हेल्प यू इन कंप्यूटर साइंस फ्रेंड्स बेसिकली दैट मींस द एमसीए स्टूडेंट्स एंड बीटेक कंप्यूटर साइंस स्टूडेंट्स दे विल बी बेनिफिटेड ओके सी हियर in our the present system the there are four system decimal number system and uh, see here i am telling you in details and binary number system and octal number system another is hexadecimal number system there are four uh, number systems are there present And now, uh, here, what are the bases? What is the base of this system? Decimal number system, the base is ten, and in binary number system, the base is two, and in octal decimal system, octal number system, the base is eight, and here the base is sixteen. Okay. And now, uh, the what are the digits used in decimal, octal, binary, and hexadecimal? And if the base is ten, that means there are ten digits. In case of binary, in case of decimal number system, and the base is two, then two row digits are used, and the base is eight, and eight digits are used, and if base is sixteen, sixteen digits are used. Okay, is that clear? See here. That means here the digits used are zero, one, two, three, up to nine, and all start from zero, and zero to nine there are ten digits, and in case of binary number system, the digits used are zero and one only. Clear. And now tell me, you zero one two up to seven. And in case of sixteen, the digits used are zero one two up to nine. Then A, B, C, D, E, F. And here A stands for one zero, B stands for one one, C stands for one two, D stands for one three. This is one four, and this is one five. Okay. And these are about uh, the four number systems and the bases you know and the digits used. Okay, my point is that how to add the numbers in different systems. And uh, in many books, all are saying that you should convert to decimal number system. That means while adding a binary, you should convert to decimal, and then finally you have to convert to binary. Uh, all are saying that in maximum ninety five percent of the are saying that first of all you have to convert to decimal number system and then add and then finally you have to convert to the corresponding system. Okay, see here. I am going to tell you simple as it. Base ten. That means in everyday life uh, you are using. Simply, base ten means uh, which you are using from class one to class ten. Normally in class one to three. Okay, seven, five, nine, two, three, four. Okay, or uh, I am taking uh, eight also here. Then you should add. So your base is ten. Simply nine plus four, it is thirteen. See here. You should divide thirteen by your base. Base is ten. And what is the question? Or what is the remainder? Simply write ten one is ten, and the remainder is three. Question is one, remainder is three. So write the remainder here, and uh, write the question as the carryover. Write the question as the carryover, and write the remainder here. Okay. And here eight plus five it is thirteen. Okay. Thirteen plus one fourteen. So divide fourteen with the base, and now uh, it will be uh, quotient will be one, and the remainder is four. So remainder right here, and the quotient goes to the uh, upper side. That means as carry over. So seven plus two plus one, it is ten. So simply if you will uh, divide ten by your base. So here it is one, here it is zero. So zero, then one is carry over. So simply write one here. See here. If the base is ten, you are dividing by ten. If the base is two, you should divide by two. And if the base is of 
8 also divided by 8. Okay. Now come to the new discoveries. Base 3 is not there. Base 4 is not there. Base 5 is also not there. But you can add also the numbers whose base is 3, whose base is 4, whose base is 5 by similar process. Okay, let us see here. Base 2, that means binary number system. 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 plus 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, 1 plus 1 is 2. So divide by its, uh, divide by its base. And here base is 2. So you should divide it by 2. So here 2, 1, and 2 and it is 0. So 0 is there and 1 is the carryover. The quotient is the carryover. Remainder you should write here and the quotient is the carryover. So it is 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3. So you should 3 divide it by 2, its base. It will be 1, this will be 1. Remainder is 1, quotient is 1. So here 1 and carryover is the quotient. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So 2 means remainder is 0 and the carryover is 1, quotient. Okay, again 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So 3 in this case. So the remainder is 1 and the quotient is the carryover. 2, 1 plus 1 is 2. So the remainder is 0 and the carryover is 1. So it is 1. This is the answer. Okay, see here. And now let us see about base uh, 3. Okay. Base 3. Your future number system. Not present number system. It is future number system. Okay. And base 3 means the digit should be 0, 1, 2. So 1, 0, 2, 1, 2. So 1, 2, 2. Because in case of uh, base 3, the digits used are 0, 1, 2. Okay. So I'm, that's why I am using 0, 1, 2 only. So 2 plus 2 is 4. So you should do divide 4 by its base. Your base is 3. Okay. 3, 1, the 3. And the remainder is 1. So here keep 1 here. And take the quotient as the carryover. So 2 plus 1 plus 1, 4. Again 4, divided by the its base and base is 3. So the remainder is 1 and the quotient is the carryover. So 2 plus 1 plus 1, again it is 4. So send 1 and the carryover is 1. So 1 plus 0 is 1. And it is less than 3. So simply write 1. Here also 1. So this is the answer. Okay. So I have told you uh, that you can discover many other number systems. And these are the future number systems. Base 3, base 4, base 5, base 7, base 9. These are things. And the simple MCQ is you have to divide by its base. And write the job remainder here. And write the quotient as the carrier. Okay. And now uh, those who are interested to write a program. That means computer science students and B.Tech students. By writing C programming or any other programming. This is the simple logic. And you should write. Here see here. In the program you should write, first of all, what is the number system, that means what is the base. And the logic is that the remainder should be written here and the quotient should be carried over. Okay, then input these things, this logic, and it is applicable to each and every number system. Okay, then write the two numbers A and B. That means while uh, using the program, you should input first of all base. Basis 2 or basis 3 or basis 4 or basis 5, anything, then input the two numbers A and B. So it will give the answer. Okay, that means you can do a program for addition of any two numbers. Any two numbers, not binary or decimal, any two numbers. Okay, thank you. In my next class, I will tell you how to subtract two numbers for any number system. Okay. And now, uh, simple as it, I will tell you, in case of subtraction. And it is applicable to each and every number system, which are in present and which are in future also. Okay, thank you.